morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Hello, Commissioner. You're very much welcome. Thank welcome, you very Madam Man Trucker Bus. Fine. Nice, nice to have you here on nice our test track. It's a great pleasure to be here. Hello. 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 Hi. Nice to be here. How are you? Hi. Good morning. Nice Hi. to be here. Good morning. Hello. 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 I will go in front. Uh, almost to ourselves, the Chinese were far ahead with battery electric buses development mm -hmm. and uh, buses without Chinese content when it comes to batteries. I know. When it comes to batteries, the then of course engines and components to auto manufacturers is mainly then for uh, machinery. Uh, it's used in our plants in uh, in Nuremberg. Um, we of course provide. Uh, has been also funded uh, by uh, the German. Uh, Uh, we do lighters, these are those at the corners, yeah. uh, to take them. And then um, what we did with the German government, we developed kind of a regulation in order to say what does it take in order to accommodate, yeah. bring it really on the street, what is the legal requirement that we can say it's a safe uh, and, and we also help uh, the lighters. So efficient and so sustainable. What else can we ask for? Yeah, we them uh, so that uh, the uh, the CO2 trading system for transportation works. Mm -hmm. That our customers so here we can charge up. But what we very often now uh, notice is that when you go to the few public charging. Right, everybody, okay, good. Well, Commissioner Sister Costas, thank you very much for visiting MIN Truck and Bus. It has been a pleasure to speak today and show you also today the innovation, what MIN, but also what the European truck industry is uh, driving forward. We actually are ready to have the products for sustainable transportation through battery electric trucks, but also through hydrogen trucks, which we have in our portfolio. Now it is time to go on the next path, and that is really with force, enforce the infrastructure build up in Europe so that we can also charge and recharge the trucks while in operation. This is where we see an enormous bottleneck in the European adoption of sustainable transportation, as we have been speaking about. You have been enjoying the trucks, you've been driving the trucks, 
and experiencing it. And also we would like to advance further in the future. And that means also to mitigate the shortage of drivers and also to make transportation even more efficient, go into autonomous transportation, which we showcase as well, and where we really would welcome a more pan-European regulation to adopt autonomous drives on the roads in Europe by the end of this decade. Mr. Tsikostas, it is a pleasure that uh, you are focusing on the industry. The transportation industry and the truck industry in Europe is actually world-leading and actually we would like to keep it like that. Therefore also we really require that we do a review of the regulations and we recognize also that you have been placing the first steps in the automotive paper when it comes to for instance uh, the uh, euro vignette but we also would like to understand how can we do a review of the regulations for the heavy duty vehicles as also have been announced for the pest cars vehicles and we understand that this is the direction forward and that until june we will discuss this matter going forward thank you very much once more for your visit thank you i am thrilled to be here today at aim a and headquarters where I witnessed with my own eyes innovation at its best because this is what it is and I want to reassure you that I'm not here on a courtesy visit I am here to convey a very clear message that the European Union more than ever is here to support its industry and of course it's a pleasure for me to be here with you, the people of MAN. I just saw an electric lorry fast charging and sat in an autonomous truck. Seeing the future of transport is truly inspiring and you make this a reality. MAN has a proud Bavarian and European identity known for innovation from the diesel engine to the future transport solutions. And today I saw its forward-thinking approach. So I see an opportunity for MAN in the European Connected and Autonomous Vehicle Alliance that we have already announced, and uh, which is also part of the automotive industrial plan that we presented. I'm, I'm in Munich today to present this plan and to send a very clear message, Europe values and supports its automotive industry. And Germany is the EU's largest automotive hub. Now our plan tackles protectionism, high energy costs, supply chain risks, competition and workforce shortages. We do understand, we do realize that there are bottlenecks, but we are here to give solutions. Solutions based on pragmatism. Our action plan for the automotive industry supports innovation, digitalization, sustainable mobility, fair competition, skills and the level playing field that we need in the sector. We want the next generation of vehicles to be made, powered, innovated in Europe and driven by European technology and values. And one word on the tariffs yesterday. I'm concerned about the decision of the US administration, which will hurt people and will hurt industries alike. As President von der Leyen said this morning, Europe is prepared to respond. We will always protect our interests and values. We are also ready to engage and to go from confrontation to negotiation. But rest assured, we will do everything that is needed to protect our industry, to protect our consumers 
to protect the European citizens. Thank you very much again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, European innovation at its best. Okay. Danke. Danke. Thank you very much. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Beautiful life.